Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Express Your Live in S3. And what's International Hummus Day without a good sense of hummus? Anyway, without Beyonce of, of all recipes, hummus is basically the Beyonce. It shakes around, it does the thing. It's beautiful, it really is. But it's beetroot hummus time. With these flavorful and nutritious Mediterranean beetroot hummus steak wraps, you're gonna love them. Uh, they're filled with fresh ingredients and steak cooked to perfection. And you won't get enough of this recipe. You're gonna wanna try it and try it and try it. And Taryn is here to show us how to make these succulent wraps. And she's kind of a chef master, if you think about it. So Taryn, hi! Hi, Carl, how are you? I'm excited to cook with you. Zoe said a little earlier that you love chili. I do, I do. I love you, chili. Did you bring your, your my, chili sauce in the apron? Did you bring it? My hot sauce in my yeah. bag. Yeah, Swag. did you? Uh, maybe. I will, I'll let you know. I think I may have left it at home, but it's okay. I know I would have loved a little bit of like habanero or something like that, just to kind of spice it up. But let's go simple and okay. then so we don't blow anybody's heads off. We have got so many great ingredients here and it's all fresh, it's all simple. So take us through the good place to start. I'm assuming the steak. Absolutely the steak. So we've got a steak on the grill over here. We're just going to hit it with some salt and pepper, you know. Classic steak seasoning. You want to cook this to about a medium rare. I mean, it's obviously to your preference, but yes. The idea is that you want it to be lovely and beautiful on the inside. Um, we're just going to hit it with a bit of pepper and then we'll turn it over in just a second. For this wrap, what we're going to be doing is making a beetroot hummus. So I've got you over there with the very fancy blender. Um, I like this little thing. This I feel like this blender was made for people like me. It's cute! It's, it's honestly, this is a car blender. It's if you think about absolutely it. absolutely fabulous. That's, it's, it's, it's actually, yeah. Because yeah. all the blenders are like... But then this is like, and it also does a job. Exactly. Even it's though it's smaller. Super powerful, super powerful. Thank um, you. So, right. most welcome. Okay. So, <laughs> we're going to add the chickpeas into the blender. If you could um, just hollow out that beetroot and add it in there as well. Okay, no problem. Um, and this is going to be the sort of base for our wrap. It's super right. fresh, lots of light flavors. Um, it's the perfect thing for a lunch on the go. And I love beetroot. I know. There's something about beetroot, I don't know what it is. It's just, um, th there's, there's the snackability of it, which yes. I really enjoy. It Absolutely. doesn't have to be like the old school beetroot that we used to have, which is like sort of like, you know, the, the pickles. Pickled. And, you know, it was with the roast potatoes and the butternut on the plate. No, And it turns your whole plate pink. Th that's exactly it, especially when the, when, the, when the chicken starts running, it's like, oh my <laughs> goodness, what's going on? But this is it. So, you said you want me to hollow this out. Yes, please. So if that you would could require hollow that me out. to have pink um, fingers, which I'm ready for you. With, so, I'm going to do that. Absolutely amazing. Together. So we're going to just hit it with a bit of olive oil. I'm going to flip the steak now. Nice. See if it's willing to let itself be flipped. It will be. It's, it's, I've spoken to the steak before. We had a meeting. Are you sure? And it said yes. So it's ready. I think the steak Fantastic. disagrees. Oh, is, it, is, she, is it not ready? No, so this oh. is the trick about steak, right? Yeah. Is that if it doesn't want to be released, don't release it. It means that it's still caramelizing on the bottom. It's still getting that lovely crispy base. I noticed um, that some people force it and then you get little pieces of the meat on the grill. Exactly. And, yeah, especially when it comes to brying. You have to leave it leave right it there. Exactly. Absolutely. Just leave it alone. It will tell you when it's ready and not before. So it's just a matter of patience. You can see that it's still very raw on top. So it's not going anywhere. You okay, know what I mean? Perfect. Fortunately, we do have um, steak. Ready to go? Yeah, because that's the magic of TV, isn't it? Absolutely. The steak fabulous. is ready. It's ready to rumble. That's the great thing. Exactly. No one needs to wait for their food. And no one's like pressuring you, saying, no. you've got three hours to make an amazing meal. Your time begins now. Boom, boom. Shake the room. No one's doing that. They're just, just chilling. You just unlocked the memory. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Might need it. <laughs> yes, it's fine. It's fine. The trauma's coming back. It's okay. So now we, we, we cut it into strips and yes. obviously it's perfectly cooked. I'm still working on your, your beetroot here. Once we do that, we're going to blitz this all up and then the magic of the hummus yes, comes absolutely. to life, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Which is the best thing ever. And I love the way, and I, I really, I want to see this blitz all together. So you need to show me how this all breaks down and how, how the hummus comes to life. There we go. So we got as much as we can. Out of the beetroot. I love that. You know, kind of, it looks pretty ominous, but it's okay. So, Ooh. if you want to get the recipe to any of, uh, well, to so this recipe, and of course, any other, go to expressionshow.com. Uh, I think this is a fun way to use beetroot. It's the best way, in fact. And a, a little hummus, it's great for dips. You can dip the chips in there if you want to. You can do it in a wrap. I think it's such a great way of just making everything a bit more creamy, a little bit more beautiful, and introducing a nice color that you may have not seen on your plate before, which is always good. So, the next step over here, while the steak is doing its thing, it's singing. Uh, now, we need to do a little bit of a zzz. You're gonna do a zzz? Um, I wanna see the zzz. Okay, 
So it's like a very fancy little sports car. And you kind of I love this little thing. I it's, need one. It's Jeff. Do you want to? Do you it's, want to have a go? No, 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 you go for it. I'm going to just watch. Okay, are you sure? Back away. Okay, sorry. Slowly. Okay. There we go. And look at that. I mean, that colour just the comes out really perfectly. Um, we might need a little bit of water. Um, and what that will do is just allow it to emulsify yes. together. Um, so I'm just going to grab just a little bit of water. Okay. Yeah. This is great. So we are going to set this up. Put this all together. Tara and I were going to enjoy some steak wraps. The thing is, we don't want to enjoy this alone. We want you to try it at home. Go to expressoshow.com, grab the recipe, give it a shot. And once you're done with it, please post a picture on the Facebook page. We'd love to see what you've done. Uh, we won't rate you like any sort of judges would on any cooking show. We'll just love you for who you are. Like that. <laughs> so, um, love it. get this back on. And you can see, so the funny thing is that people don't realize when you add water to the it emulsifies it. So it really allows all the ingredients to come together. Um, and so we're going to take it as far as possible. I mean, what do you think? Do you want it a bit smoother than that? How do you feel? This is, I think this, I actually love this color as well. I'm going to change the subject for a second. I hope you don't mind. But awesome. I'm not, I'm, are you a football person? And if so, Liverpool versus Chelsea. Do you want to pick one before we set it out? I'm going to say Chelsea. Chelsea? Yeah. Is it because it reminds you of the Chelsea buns? No. Oh. It's, it's because I'm seeing a friend of mine later and they will absolutely kill me if I say Liverpool. Right. Well done. Restore the friendship, like my friendship with Graham. Liverpool or Chelsea, let's find out.